Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay. Um, today I'm going to be doing a quick and easy monster makeup tutorial. This is just an old cosplay I did a while back, but I just want to give you guys some ideas for Halloween and then also just for cosplay in general. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe below and don't forget to turn on the notifications. Um, and also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and then leave me a comment down below. Um, just let me know what are you excited about for Halloween. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so I've already prepped my face and my brows for today's video. Um, it's going to be mostly focused on the eyes, but it is a super easy, super quick tutorial. Um, I'll list everything I use for my face below. It's kind of like my go-to face um, base anytime I do cosplay makeup or anything. Unless it's something that um, requires like a specific look. But if I'm just doing kind of like a glam version of like D.Va or some other character, I like to do the same base. Um, for the lips, I use the Steve Laurent in New and uh, Chic. And then I use the shade Tulip in the Becca lipstick. And then I followed it with the Fenty Gloss Balm in uh, Diamond Milk. So that's kind of what I've done so far. And I went ahead and did my brows with the Iconic London... Um, brow cushion. So let's go ahead and get started with the eyes. Um, it's really easy. So this is like a super quick tutorial. Um, the first thing you're going to need for this makeup tutorial is the Super Shock Shadow in Under the Sea. It's one of the Disney um, colors. It's really pretty. kind of matches my shirt. So um, basically after you've prepped your eyes, which for me I use concealer and then I tap it out and um, get all the creases out and then I set it with a light powder. So that's kind of how I set my eyes and my eyeshadow seems to last really well. Um, and basically with this super shock shadow, I put it on with my finger because it is a cream shadow. So it just seems like it go goes on better with just your finger. I'm basically just kind of slowly building the color on just the lid. Alright, so now I've got this Super Shock Shadow nice and packed on my lid. I'm gonna kind of tap into it a little bit with um, kind of like a buffing brush. This one's like a shader brush from Luxie. And you're gonna start right in the crease and just gently um, kind of blow that out a little bit just so that it's not like this harsh line. And then as you run out, just go up. That way you just don't have that like harsh line. All right, so that's pretty much it on that. And then next we're gonna go in with the Stila little eye glitter in Diamond Dust. I think, yeah, Diamond Dust. And you're pretty much gonna start right in the inner corner And this look is so easy. You don't have to do cut crease. Um, nothing like super fancy. We're just putting this glitter on the inner corner until about halfway and then you're gonna just gently diffuse it into the green. Like that. It looks really pretty. Do the other side. So next we're going to go in with eyeliner and I'm using the Fenty liner. This is the shade um, Hot Tub Club. So it's just a really bright blue. And we're going to do the um, wing liner. So like I showed you guys in my Mercy video, um, I do the outer, the bottom um, little tail first. And I kind of uh, pull it a little bit but not much. So just like that, following along the bottom lash line. And then I like to go ahead and do the other side so that I can make sure they're even. A little bit more. Okay. 
Okay, so those look pretty even. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it about like that. We can always make it bigger, but I would start, you know, where you feel comfortable, and then if you want to stretch it out more, you can. Um, next, you're gonna take your liner. Um, don't go all the way to the end, just right before the end, and then drag it across. might get some in your lashes so now you got that first kind of part then you can just fill in the rest Okay, so that's the wing. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side just to save us some time and then um, we'll move on to the next step. All right, so I've got both of the um, liners done. So um, since there is a little bit of purple in my outfit, my little monster outfit, I'm going to go in with this shade called Gumdrop from the Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star. And I'm using just a small brush. Um, I'm going to pick up quite a bit and then just dust off the excess and just go on the um, lower lash line. And today I did my foundation and everything first just because this eye look isn't really that intense. Um, but if you're going to be doing like a really intense eye look, you may want to do your um, your foundation after your eyes. And then also, whenever you do your foundation, I recommend bringing it all the way down to like your upper chest, especially for cosplay because it's much more obvious when you're doing those really nice like high resolution photos. It's more obvious if your skin tone doesn't like perfectly match. And then it just makes your whole complexion from your neck up look good because you know a lot of us even at a young age have like spots on our chest and imperfections that you might not notice until you get your photos back. So I love this purple, it's so pretty. Okay, so got that on. I might actually use a bigger brush and dab into that and just kind of smoke it out a little bit even more. Cause I don't mind if it goes down a little further yeah. All right, so I'm going to quickly throw on some black liner in the um, upper and lower water lines, and then we'll do mascara and lashes, and then we'll be pretty much done with this look. All right, guys, so I've got my lashes on. I used the um, Essence Lash Princess Mascara, and for lashes, I used the um, hashtag lashes. I'll link them um, in the description box below, um, but this is the finished look. It's pretty much just that green cream shadow all over the lid, the um, Stila glitter, the blue eyeliner from Fenty, and then a little purple on the bottom. So it's a fairly simple look. Um, I'll go ahead and get my um, wig and all my accessories on, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is the finished look with the wig. Um, the suit has like um, purple, so that's why I have the purple underneath. Um, so I've got this blue wig, and then I've got my little hat and claws. Um, I bit all my nails off watching a movie the other day because I got nervous during the movie, so I don't have my nails done, but maybe I can cover them with my claws. Anyway, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your notifications. 
Thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.